is called an Aoki lock. It's a modified heel hook, but jujitsu is for autistic people. What I think of a master of jujitsu is, is somebody that inspires another generation. Jujitsu, I swear, this is why I like striking. This is so. And this is a competition where you just, it's an art and it's an art form, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. So that's like a master to student. He's an idol of mine <laughs> for being. For it's like a master to the student of actually, this is a leg heel lock. He's saying he would make me tap. He probably would. He probably would. So surprise, surprise, Sneeko's being a donut again, but this time he's being a donut to the wrong nerd or soy boy, whatever he wants to call him. Cause this guy is a four time world champion jujitsu fighter called Mikey Musumichi. Mikey Musumichi is a revolutionary grappler. The reigning one flyweight submission grappling world champion began training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at age four and entered one as a five time IBJJF gold medalist. Now, yeah, this guy may come across as nerdy and innocent. Another thing that's really unusual about you is your diet. Yes. <laughs> you're famous. You're famous for eating pasta and homemade pizza. I make pizza and pasta every night. I have a pizza oven in my house and I roll out the dough, make everything. Everything. <laughs> and then uh, for dessert, I'll eat a pint of acai. Some people might hear him speak or see him and think the guy's completely harmless, but I promise you right now, the guy is not harmless. He's a killer. And he now wants to kill Sneeko. So today I'm going to talk about bullies. Bullies are weak people that make fun of others around them, that give themselves relevance, and then make themselves feel good. They pick on the differences of humans, which is the most beautiful part of humans, their uniquenessness. I really don't like bullies, guys. And there's this guy named Sneeko making fun of me. Making fun of my friend, making fun of jiu-jitsu. He calls himself a boxer. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Let's have an MMA fight. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. I'm going to shut his mouth and I'm going to take the bully's lunch money. I've just shown you an example and I've seen this guy do a bunch of different interviews and I've never seen him this pissed off. You do not want to make the nerdy guy that can fight this angry. He's going to unleash years and years of bullying onto you. And I think Sneeko is realizing that in his response. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. I'm going to shut his mouth and I'm gonna take the bully's lunch money. I make jokes. I'm a streamer. I joke about everybody, me, chat, everything, all day, every day. What? I said in that video you're upset about, you would make me tap in Bra Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You would win. In MMA, even with striking, you would go, this is what you would do. Grab my heel and do the same shit you did to your master. You would win. You're a world champion. I train boxing sometimes. What the do you think the result was gonna be? Is this a skit? I was I was looking at this and reading through the comments like, is everybody pranking me? Is everybody in on some sort of joke? Not only could he make Sneeko tap, but you could make Sneeko scream like a little girl. We'd all be calling him Screamo, brev. <laughs> and this Mikey guy, he's not a striker, but I very much doubt that Sneeko's blows would do him any damage from what I've seen. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh. No, this one. Shots on him. Woo! Sneeko, you're using your reach perfectly right now, bud. Well, I beat someone 200 kilos, so I don't think there's anyone bigger than that size. <laughs> Now it's good to see that Sneeko's got in the gym, he's filled out, he's definitely got in better shape, but I definitely would not recommend him to box anybody with them little pillow punches, bruv. They're not doing damage to nobody. He's been boxing for a while now and he does look technically better, but those punches have no power whatsoever. It feels like you could just stand in front of him and he wouldn't do nothing. Just right and say, give me your best shot, and he has plenty of them. And still he Flashback. You? Or the definition of somebody plugged in. Look at you! I never called myself an alpha male. I wanna get to that point. Everybody in here wants to make it out. But are you really gonna sit, sit here and not call yourself a beta male? You can genuinely look in the mirror and not think that you're anything but a beta male soy boy. 
And I don't know why he's always talking about nerds, soy boys, and fighting certain people. Because every time he gets called out by one, he bottles it. Sneeko, Andrew Callahan, Danny Mullen, come fight me, you fing pussy! How do you think you'd do against Sneeko in MMA? Oh, I would absolutely fing ravage him. To which he responded by saying this Brandon Buckingham just won his boxing match against Poseidon on KSI Misfits cards. Brandon called you out at the end. You gonna take the fight, Sneeko? I don't get my time to clown chasers. Ooh, okay. I'd rather, just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes, than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. You call them soy boys and nerds, but every single soy boy and nerd I've seen your beef, you've lost. So after shaking off my call out, our brave and valiant cuck sets his sight on a more formidable opponent, Charlie. Buttheads. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You want to? Oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching. You were. Now the reason he keeps saying "watch my clips" while threatening me here is because during the stream I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. So I said "watch my clips" to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips, and I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. Sneeko, you're obviously not a fighter, and if you're a comedian, then make it clear, because one minute you're a red pill guru, then you're mini Andrew Tate, and now you're a Muslim. You think I should convert? I've been thinking about it, but I'm not sure yet. Like, so some Christians want me to go, but what are the benefits about converting to Islam? I'm gonna go to heaven. <laughs> Do you want more? But in Islam, the reason that I converted is Allah is the one true God. That's the one, that's the creator of the universe, the creator of everything. Jesus was there to spread his message. Muhammad was the prophet. And then we are all his people. We are all his creation. And that just makes the most sense to me. And look, to be clear, if he's being genuine about converting to Islam and he respects the religion, the people, then great and good luck to him. I can respect that. But if it turns out just to be another phase because his idol Andrew Tate did it, then he's going to piss a lot of people off and he's not just going to have to worry about Mikey.